Welcome to Deep Friday. <coughs> oh God. <laughs> Today we are deep frying a 7-Eleven stuffed pretzel sandwich. What? This variation is ham and cheese, but I'm also told by Wero that there's a pepperoni one. It's delicious. Yeah, so been very consistently surprised by the quality of goods coming out of 7-Eleven of all places recently. Oh God, what is, <laughs> what's happening there? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, God damn it, where you forgot to put the Newtonian in. What is that, is that like a croissant? It <laughs> looks, pretzel. yeah, it looks like a pretzel croissant or something. Yeah. Make the magic happen. I'm making it. I'm making oh. it. Oh, I made it! Oh, I made it! And I'm spent. Oh. <laughs> oh no. And the magic happened. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Pretzel boy, show me the secret of your ham and cheese. <laughs> Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, that's like a, a sweet, sweet, salty little turnover right there. I thought you were gonna say turn. Oh, come on! <laughs> well, the texture feels like it's gonna be nice. Oh, 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 oh. what is that, like Black Forest oh, Ham or goodness. something? And look at the cheesy, the melty cheesy! Good lord. Good lord. That was a strange reaction fighting through that. <laughs> was that still frozen in the center? I don't know. I don't know if it was cooked in the center. <laughs> it says it's fully cooked, so we're putting it on them. <laughs> we're putting that hookworm on them. Mm -mm. I don't think I like it. <laughs> First of all, I didn't cook it enough, but secondly, it tastes just doughy in the middle. Ooh. Oh my god, that's a lot to get through. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Oops. No. Nope. Whoopsie doodle. I, I, I've never found a doughy pretzel, you know, unless it was actually not cooked. And this, that's what this tastes like. Uh, no. Give that one an X. <laughs> fuck this product. <laughs> At least fuck it the way I cook it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's a fully cooked product, Wero. Is there an asterisk next to the fully cooked? <laughs> fully cooked is what you can say after you cook this product. See all the oil on here? Like, the oil basically turned the pretzel into, like, it's just mush now. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. I don't know if you got a bad one. It might have been just the way I cooked it too, but boy, that's, uh, I can't imagine. Yeah, it, it just doesn't look done in the center of it. And it. and that's not like the deep frying's fault. That's the, the make of the product. You're supposed to throw it in the microwave for like a minute or whatever, but that's not gonna cook the dough either. It just makes it super hot so you can't tell that it's not cooked. <laughs> Listen, like that one that I had was just like one of them pretzels. Mm-hmm, okay. I think a bigger problem, actually, is the cheese sauce. It's pretty revolting, isn't it? In the center. It's neutral and, like, it's just a yellow paste. I think that's what you guys are getting, <laughs> is the cheese. The cheese, it's like a che like a beer cheese that you put a lot of flour into. Is that what it is? But it's not, all it has is the flavor of flour and salt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it even has the consistency of, like, waffle batter or something. The cheese in this is absolutely awful. And I think that's what's really holding this back. Like, the dough is, sure, it's not really done as much as a pretzel would be. But it doesn't taste not cooked. The cheese definitely does. Mm. I think that's what the, the heating does, is it kind of <laughs> does something to the cheese. It turns it all into kindergarten paste. It needs something. That cheese needs something. That's the problem. And cheese is so seldom the problem. 
What have you done, 7-Eleven? <laughs> you monsters! This is probably the first product that we've had from them that we haven't given a decent score. Yeah, uh, the pretzel flavor in that is actually really nice. I could see how a different filling would be really excellent. It's got a nice saltiness to it. It tastes just like a pretzel does. Really good. But the filling, eh, maybe go for something other than ham and cheese. Because that's a little bit weird. But hey, that's what we're here to find out on Deep Friday. And today, what we have here is a strike. Strike. This has been Deep Friday. Please like, share, subscribe. Go check out Lofi's channel. Go check out Lofi on twitch.tv slash Lofi Molasses. And let us know what your favorite 7-Eleven food item is. Thanks for watching.